Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, you'll learn how to clean up your API responses using response models in a fast API. All right, so let's move forward with the process. So in the previous video, we have uh, used the base model from Pydantic to actually set up our input parameters for a URL endpoint. And in this video, we're gonna, uh, for the returning model, which is this item model, we're going to change it to uh, something modified. So we're going to customize our response model using pydantic maze model itself so this is used for generally preventing some of the fields from transferring to the response uh, something like passwords or any secret variables other than that all right so we'll see how we can use a response model for this so i've already set up a post url here which is slash items which just takes the input as this item model which has three fields the name price and is offer bool which is the default value as false Apart from this, from the create item, when the post request is hit, it just returns the, the message, which is the item created and the item itself, which is the item model here only. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to suppose I'm going to add a variable, something like password, and this is going to be uh, a string. And I just don't want to show this. So I'm just going to write, don't show this. So this should supposedly not be visible inside the response of our post request. But when I run this app, it is visible, right? Uh, let's just test it out. And if I run, now I have to give in the password itself. But since it has a default value, I can skip giving a value here and I will just execute it here. All right. One more thing, just removing that. 100 all right so as you can see we have got the response which has the item object here stating the name price is offer and password variables inside the model itself so now what i want is i do not want this whole model uh, items inside my response i do not want to display the password apart from password you can display everything including name price is offer but i don't want to display the password here so how do we do that is we have to build a separate model for a response. So how do we build that is I'm going to build another model from the base model itself. So that's going to be something like class the response model. We can have it as something like item response. And this is also extracted from the base model from Pydantic itself. And this is going to have the fields name price and we have the is offer itself which is going to be bool and the default value is going to be false so this is going to be the default uh, response model fields and i will exclude the password here because i do not want to show that inside my response item perfect and now how do i use this response model for my url endpoint is just simply adding a field adding a parameter after the app dot post decorator and i'm just going to add it something like response model response model and this is equals to item response all right so the item response the uh, the url response the post request response is going to be of the format type item response which just have three fields out of the four original field inside the input item model that's great so now let's just test it out how does this work so i'll just go to the swagger ui and i'll refresh this here all right so now i'll pass in the parameters for my url so i'll just click on try it out here and i'm going to pass for the password i'll just keep it something like password and for the is offer it's false so this is my item object which i'm going to pass in here I'll just change it to true and I'll just change it to 10. All right. So I'm going to pass it there uh, in the URL and let's see what response do we get. All right. So one more change, guys. Since we are using a response model now, we cannot use the message here because this violates the rule of response model. If we want to use the message itself, we can also, we can, we need to embed that in the item response model itself by the name of some field like message but for now i'll just skip it and i'll just return the item itself so how do i return the item i'll just return the item variable that's it so for this i'll just do this and now i'll test this api out 
So let's see how does this work. And now I'll execute this. All right. So as you can see, we have got the 200 code here, which says the response body is name, price, and is offer. And as you can see, we did not get the password field inside the response. So that has been hidden now. And that's how you can actually use response model to modify the res output response from an API. So this also uh, makes your API endpoint secure and le avoid leaking things like password, internal IDs, etc. And response models also help you to clean up messy responses, hide sensitive or irrelevant fields, and also create consistent and documented API endpoints. So guys, that's how you can use response models in API. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching.